Good morning, my little McNuggets. This video is going to show you how you can save files in the cloud without signing up for anything. Did you know you could do that? Well, if you can log into Fusion successfully, Fusion actually provides all members with some free online storage space. So this can be a great way to save your files when you're working at school so that you can finish at home or access them from anywhere with internet. All right, in order to use the feature, you are gonna have to log in if you can't log in, the person you want to go see is Mr. Mike Adkins. His office is located to the left of the library. Uh, he, he's a tall, older guy, and he'll be happy to help you out. All right, mine might look a little bit different than yours, but it should be pretty close. Once you're logged in, it'll say welcome and your name. And you can remember, you can go to your class pages by clicking Fusion Pages. But to save a file, you click on My Account. When you click on my account, you can view calendars, files, um, the blog where this video is posted, change your settings and your profile. To upload files, you go to, you guessed it, files. Once you're in files, in order to upload, um, you can create folders, but to upload just a file, click add file. In order to add a file, it has to be saved to your computer, so make sure you've done that first, and make sure you've used the proper file naming convention for class, uh, if it's for my class, last name, title of the document. Click Browse, All right, choose your file, click Open, and then it's always a good idea to type a brief description especially if you tend to title a lot of your documents the same way. That'll make it easier for you to know what it is without having to click and open just to see what's in there. So I'm going to title this Best Ever Essay Assignment Sheet. When you're done, you can click Upload. And voila. Okay. Now, anytime you log in, if it's successful, you'll be able to see your file open it, download it, save it, do whatever it is that you want to do. One thing I want to point out to you, if you save a file on Fusion, okay, and then you, let's say you open it, you make some changes to it. Those changes, okay, will not be automatically saved to Fusion. It's very important that you save the file to the desktop again, okay? So you'll click Save As, all right, save it to the desktop or wherever it is. Let's say I've made my changes. And then instead of uploading the file again, because that would be confusing, you wouldn't know which one has your changes, you're going to click this button here that says Overwrite. Okay. Overwrite will allow you to update the changes that you've made. Okay. So then you'll browse, you'll upload your updated file, which you've saved your changes to the desktop already. Click Open, and then click Upload. That's what Overwrite means. Anytime you need to get rid of a, a, a file, just delete. Um, you do have very limited space on Fusion. So, for example, if you're doing a PowerPoint for class and it's a very large PowerPoint with a lot of images or you're trying to save a video, it would probably be better to use Dropbox or Google Doc Drive in order to save your work because it will only save part of it if you run out of space. This personal files feature on Fusion is excellent for Word documents or PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, things like that. But if you have a very large file, uh, you, you might run out of space. So be careful to watch for that. Don't forget to stay organized by creating folders. So maybe create a file folder just for your English work. Okay, a folder just for your biology work. Okay, and then you can save them to those certain folders. Okay, and that's basically it for Fusion. And then remember, you can just easily navigate to wherever else it is that you want to go by clicking your Fusion pages. That's 
how to say file diffusion. And I'm out. I'll see you in class. Bye, guys.